Hello everyone, welcome back to Abandoned Mines of Pennsylvania. Uh, today we're inside an old copper mine in Pennsylvania. Just went in on a mineralized outcrop. Um, that outcrop soon pinched out and was deemed uneconomical. And mining was not continued. In this particular mine, you can hear the Geiger counter going. We do have um, some uranium, copper in the form of malachite, azurite, Chris Cola, um, some calcopyrite. Um, then there's also trace amounts of lead and very trace amounts of silver. And so you can see kind of the different layers here. This rock is looking different than this rock, which is looking different than this rock. When I say that these occurrences happen in lenses, we talked about it in previous videos, but if you can imagine kind of our different rock layers, in here, there would be this lens mineralization. So inside that lens, you may have different zones of mineralization. Um, one may be heavy on copper, uh, or whatever mineral we're talking about, but in this case, it's copper. Um, next zone down may be rich in uranium, but fairly barren of copper. Uh, each one kind of varies. Uh, in this particular case, this lens was... Uh, basically cut in half by erosion and so they went in seeing this exposure went in this about 30 feet and then this pinched out um, into just the surrounding rock so if we look here this top is limonite we do have some some plant fossils evident in the roof and a lot of the mineralization here is in occurrence with those plant fossils and so, if we look back here, move that light away a little bit, you can kind of see that little bit of a slant. There's our pinch out in the back. We do have a small drill hole there. Um, so this was blasted in. Come back here to the ways. You do see areas of copper mineralization there. Again, back here, but this was not, not enough to be economical. Uh, there's a few little pockets, pockets here um, that just eroded out. They're probably high in sulfides. Uranium here is only, we're getting only about 200 and 60 to 300 counts per minute, so nothing too extreme. Definitely nothing of economic value. Let's come back here. It's another little bit of copper mineralization. Not a whole lot left. And this mine's only about four foot tall, uh, about four foot wide. Like I said it only goes in about 30 feet. Uh, test mines like this do exist all over Pennsylvania. Um, whether it be hard rock conditions like this, where you were finding lead or copper, or maybe a small quartz vein. But a lot of these were just done for exploration. And obviously, if they would have found... An economic reserve of the mineral they were after um, this would have been worked further but you can have these in areas that are known for coal you find them a lot um, they'd find a small outcrop of black shale and we're hopeful that it would open up but in most cases it didn't luckily this one's still open it is a nice little geological observation spot And this uranium is pretty well dispersed. We don't see much of a change. Um, there are some areas that spike in association with those plant fossils, uh, but no visible uranium minerals here. Uh, 
Well, if anyone has any comments, please feel free to either send us a message on Facebook, Beta Minds of Pennsylvania, or leave a comment on YouTube. And be sure to get them answered uh, either directly or in a future video. Don't forget to like, share, follow, subscribe. The more we can get that done, the more we can get done. So, again, I appreciate everyone for the support. Um, I feel like we're building a pretty good community. Hope everyone has a good day. Thank you.